So we have a problem about this farm where there are chickens and cows, and we need to know how many of each if we know the number of heads and the number of legs, which is a little bit funny. So we have 66 heads and 202 legs. The question is how many cows, how many chickens? So if we call the number of chickens X and the number of cows Y, well, that already shows that we are kind of committed to apply a, a system of linear equations. And this problem very naturally lends itself to systems of linear equations. We have two unknowns now, the number of chickens x, the number of cows y, and so we need to have two equations. Well, one equation will express the number of heads, the other one will express the number of legs. How many chicken heads? We have x many chicken heads and y many cow heads, and that's all together 66. Now, each chicken has two legs, so, the no so x chickens altogether have 2x many chicken legs, and the number of cow legs would be 4y, and that's how we get 202. So now the word problem is over for a while, and we just have a system of equations. Now, one thing about word problems is that they give rise to fairly simple equations or systems. Uh, the first equation is very simple, and actually, the second one can be made simpler if you notice that every number, every coefficient is divisible by 2. So before we solve the system, let's just simplify the second equation by, multi, uh, by dividing it by 2. So then we get x plus 2y equals 101. So I would say don't ever subtract. Instead, add the opposite. So this one is now a very nice system. We can cancel out x if we just subtract the two equations from each other. But to subtract is to add the opposite, so to be really careful, we're going to rewrite it. I would always advise against mentally subtracting. Mentally add any time. So we multiply the first equation by negative 1, left alone the second one, and now when we add the two equations, x cancels out, and y falls into our lap. 101 minus 66, so we get y equals 35. Now for x, we could go back to either the, the text of the problem or the simpler equations. Let's just go for x plus y equals 66. So then x plus, now we know or think we know that y is 35. And so x is whatever 66 six minus 35 is, it's 31. So our answer is, we think that there are, x was the number of uh, chickens. You should write that down. Otherwise, you will have to browse your own equations to know what you call what. So we have 31 chickens and 35 cows. Let's check. So it's best uh, to leave alone the system and just check, it, your, check our answer against the, the conditions stated in the problem. So if we have 31 chickens and 35 cows, how many heads do we have? Well, if you we just add these two numbers, that's 66 heads. Right? One head per animal. But if we want to count the legs, well, 31 chickens would have 62 legs, and 35 cows would have 7140. And so we, when we add those two, we get 202. So both the legs and the heads check out. So our solution is correct. There are, there are 31 chickens and 35 cows. So the problem is over. You can turn off the video. You can stop the video. But of course, as always, I have I have a comment. Um, this this is the first application of of system of e equations. And so I just want to state for the record that whatever can be handled with a system can also be uh, handled with an equation. There is a huge overlap. It's not that hard to say we have x many chickens and 66 minus x many cows and use just one equation. Thank you for watching.